Well, my YouTube friends, OBS continues to get better and better over time. But the one issue I see popping up over and over again is audio and video sync. There's nothing more frustrating than when your video and audio don't line up. Now, there are some reasons this happens and ways that you can avoid it or fix it. I'm going to give you everything that you need to know to tackle this issue today. We've got a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! One of the main issues I see is folks running a USB webcam and a USB microphone. The reason why this can cause sync issues is because the USB connection is bandwidth limited. So if you have a 4K USB camera, that's a lot of data to transfer. When you add a microphone on top of that, it can be too much for a standard USB to handle. Luckily, in most machines and even laptops, they have at least two separate USB controllers. So to fix this issue, make sure your microphone and your camera are on separate USB buses or controllers. On a laptop, they're usually on opposite sides of the case. On a desktop, there are usually two separate buses in the back. And if you have front USB ports or on the top, they're usually separate as well. In the case of your desktop, you're kind of going to have to just move USB connections around until you fix it. It sometimes helps to restart OBS after you move the connections as well. Now, the second trick that I personally use to keep from having audio sync issues is to use my camera with the microphone plugged directly into the camera. Now, when you do this, you only end up with one signal, whether it's USB or HDMI or whatever you're using to connect your camera. The camera does all the audio processing and syncing, so when it gets to the computer, it's easy to use and it's never out of sync. Now, cameras don't usually have USB mic inputs, so this one requires a different type of microphone, but it is by far the easiest and most reliable way to guarantee a perfect audio sync every time. I work really hard to make content I think you're going to enjoy, but sometimes it's hard to know for sure. I'm certainly hit and miss, but that's where you can really help me out. If you like this content, you can leave it a thumbs up and it lets me know that you think it's good. However, if it's not your cup of tea, you can definitely leave a thumbs down and let me know. It's not a problem. You're just telling me what you want to see. If everyone watching this video would leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I would definitely know if this is the kind of content that you want to see so I can make more or less. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a bunch. So leave those thumbs up or thumbs down. Thank you very much. Let's get on to the video. The third problem is usually caused by audio processing. When you add a filter to your audio or you use an external mixer, this can create a delay in your audio signal. The most obvious fix for this is to use the mic signal directly without any processing. If your mic sounds bad and needs processing, there are ways to fix it that I'm going to cover in a second, but the easiest way is to get a better quality mic or treat your room to deaden the sound a little bit. In the end, this is what you're going to do eventually, but if you can't afford to do it just yet, let me show you how you can bring the audio into sync in OBS. There are two ways that you can adjust the timing of your audio video sync in OBS. So the first one would be to select the video source that you're having the audio problems with. You want to go ahead and make sure that your audio is attached to that video source. If they're separate, then you want to select the video source not the audio source in this particular case. And we're going to right click on that video source and we're going to go to filters. And in filters, we're going to click the plus and we would just go to render delay. And now we can delay our video the same number of milliseconds that our audio is delayed to sync it up. So if it's, if it's off one second, that would be 100 milliseconds. And 100 milliseconds, it will delay your video for that long and then hopefully line up your video and your audio. Now there is one other place that you can delay your audio and that is in the advanced audio properties. So we can click right here and go to advanced audio properties. And here it will allow you to delay your audio. So one is delaying video, which is the more likely suspect because usually when it's out of sync, it's because the audio is processing, it's taking a little longer. So you have to delay your video to line up with it. 
However, if your audio is coming before your video, you can go in here and you can offset the audio sync as well. So you can never go below zero milliseconds, of course, because, well, you can't make your audio happen in the future. That's just not how this works. But you can definitely delay your audio sync in here or your video sync using render delay and that is the way that you can bring your audio and video into sync so there you have it now you should understand what causes sync issues and how to fix them in obs but there is one sync issue that you really can't fix if you're using a laptop or machine that does not have a dedicated video encoder and you have to use x264 as your encoder you may be in some trouble. You're gonna know for sure if it's your encoder causing the problem or if you can fix it with one of the things I just showed you pretty easily. If the sync is always the same, you can definitely fix it with one of the above methods. However, if the sync timing changes over time and gets shorter or longer, that is a product of your encoder not being able to keep up. X264 is an amazingly powerful encoder but it will really use your CPU. And if your computer is not powerful enough to encode at a consistent bit rate, it will do its best, but that's all it can do. This is what causes those sorts of sync issues. And the only way to solve them is an equipment upgrade, i.e. a more powerful computer or more RAM or something like that. Did I leave anything out? let me know down in the comments below. And if you wanna see how to troubleshoot other audio issues like Echo, you should check this video out. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.